Donna Meldon, coordinator with the Holmes County Chamber of Commerce, and this is Chats with the Chamber Lady. Today's guest is Jenny Smith with Joyfield Therapy. Hi, Jenny. How you doing today? Hi, Hi doing well. well Thank we're, you. Well, we are so glad glad to have you, and. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and get started with what, tell, tell us all about Joy Field Therapy. Yes, um, Joy Field Therapy is a, a, my private practice and we provide mental health services, counseling for individuals living in Florida. Um, they are online um, counseling therapy sessions um, provided, yes. Um, now, you are a licensed clinical social worker, Jenny. Tell me what a social worker is. Well, there's lots of different roles a social worker um, can have. We can work in hospitals, school settings, um, in the jails, as well as, um, you know, in community mental health. And uh, what I do, since I am licensed, I'm able to start my own um, private practice and counseling uh, okay. center. That, that's 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 such good information uh, for those of our viewers that don't that they they don't know what a social worker is. So yes, thank, really thank in, you. Yes, in the helping profession, uh -huh. yeah, helping others kind of feel get better. Okay, all right. And how long have you been doing joyful therapy? How long have you been in business? Yes, I, I started the business in 2021, right after the pandemic. Um, and I was able to provide, uh, my services are all online, so um, you can do it in the comfort of your home, or um, if you don't want to travel or can't drive, you can also, pr um, services can be reached to you. I, th I think that's huge for, for your clients, too, that they don't have to travel. Correct, yes, and feel safe in their home. Yes. Oh, that, that's wonderful. What type of situations... Uh, do you deal with and address with your clients? My background is in um, childhood trauma, so childhood um, physical and sexual abuse. Okay. Um, so it's my um, primary population. I do use um, EMDR, which is eye movement um, desensitization, which is reprocessing, uh, which is a big word, but basically it's a faster way where people are able to find results okay. um, and feel relief a lot faster than um, just with talk therapy and so I've incorporated that and um, people have found great results with it just a lot faster um, I feel like nowadays people are wanting um, everything quick you know and so they are expecting fast fixes a lot of times. So this kind of helps. That gratification. That. I, ha I need gratification now. I need relief now. So yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So 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 you have gotten a lot more results with. Let's see. That's the MDR, correct? E M D R. D -R. Yes. Okay. Now, um, of course, there's such a mental health stigma in our society. Can you can you just talk a little bit about that, Jenny? Yes, I, de um, I definitely think that we have um, come a long way with that, the, the stigma. I know when I started out 20 years ago, um, a lot of people were even um, telling me not to go into the field mm -hmm. and um, family members and so forth. But um, since I began, I see p um, the military are more accepting of it. There's a lot more programs and support um, for uh, people that are struggling with depression, anxiety, um, any type of trauma and just um, wanting to feel, you know, alive again. So, um, yeah, I do see the stigma, and I still see it today where people, um, you know, there might be some shame or um, not wanting to not wanting to share their um, story. Mm -hmm. So there are some barriers, but hopefully with more education and awareness, um, that they can see it, their support. And is it just how you're feeling maybe that, that particular day or if if you continue to feel that yes, inappropriately? Yeah, or and I think we're th our best judge of ourselves, like we're our best yes. advocates. And so we know, like, okay, well, I haven't really had energy for the last two weeks, you know, or um, I, I just lost a, a loved one. That can really put Yeah, grief and loss can be... Yeah. Um, 
Or we can feel depre um, depressive symptoms, like not wanting to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, really, um, if they're dehabilitating where you're not able to really do the normal things in life mm -hmm. that you might normally enjoy or do, that can maybe be a sign um, for seeking out some support. Your mental health is key to your quality of life, isn't it? It is. It is. A big component. Well, Thanks so much for providing those services. Um, now we want to talk. We're going to shift gears a little bit and uh, just question you a little bit about what's it like being a business owner now? Yes, opening uh, opening your business for the first time. Uh, if I'm am I correct, this is your first time, right? It is. It is. And I've always um, worked for um, other agencies, and so this was a really big move. And um, this has been the best decision of my career. So I love being a business owner. I like the freedom. Um, that it provides and the yeah that is so awesome and um what is the best and most important advice uh you got when you when you started your own business do you remember that yes I do and um you know I didn't go to school for business um I went to school for social work so right I was um wasn't sure how you know to even start but I felt like um educating myself, getting um, support for people that um, that had private practices already that mm -hmm. I could connect with, um, even taking some courses to help me um, become a uh, successful business owner. So I did all of it, and I would say not to give up. You know, um, there's going to be, uh, you know, ups and um, highs and lows, <laughs> uh, you know, one month or this month, something might happen, and to be able to just, um, you know, if you really enjoy it, to keep with it, and that it will all work out. Yes. Tell us how uh, someone can um, can contact you, and how they go about uh, receiving the services that you offer. Yes, great question. So um, I do have a website, joyfieldtherapy.com. You can either call me or email me, text me. Uh, we would set up like a consultation appointment, okay. which is just um, about 20 minutes, and it's free. And we just talk about what your concerns are, making okay. sure we're a good fit for each other. And then we would um, go from there and set up an intake appointment. And we would... Um, you would receive like an email with your information um, to your client portal, a link to a client portal, which is a electronic health record, okay. just to keep everything confidential because everything is HIPAA compliant. Right, right. Um, for for therapy, and um, and we would meet on our th um, on the therapy um, portal where we would do our sessions um, video. So okay. I would see them. Uh, Jenny, what are some of the benefits by uh, seeing patients online? Well, definitely we can um, reach more people that are living in rural areas. They don't People that do not um, want to drive an hour to a therapy appointment mm -hmm. can do it in the comfort of their own home. Also, people with social anxiety that um, don't like to drive, any kind of phobias, it's always helpful for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of times for mom, young moms, they find it to be very helpful during nap time to be able to um, have their therapy session. So it's a lot more convenient, mm -hmm. um, easy um, access, ac accessible to people that live okay. in rural areas, as well as um, people who don't want to go in traffic and... Um, bike traffic just to get to an appointment it saves time. Well, we have been talking with uh, Jenny Smith with Joyfield Therapy. This is Donna Meldon, and this has been Chats with the Chamber Lady. And remember, if you need it, or you want it, or you want to do it, Holmes County's got it for you. Thank you. Thank you.